minus 30 seconds. Twenty. Stage one tanks passing roof light. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift off. Drop the nine. Vehicles clear the nine. plus a minute 10 into flight. We've just gone through throttle down and throttle back up of the Falcon 9 first stage engines. We've gone through max Q on the first stage. First stage continues to look good on the engines, headed downrange away from Vandenberg Air Force Base. We're chilling in the MVAC engine two minutes into flight, getting it ready for ignition. Next major event coming up in 30 seconds is shutdown of the nine first stage engines, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. Shortly after that, we hope to get a view of payload fairing separation from the second stage. We've had successful separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. First words from propulsion, things look good on the upper stage engine and the second stage. Boots Next up we should down. see fairing separation. You hear the applause from the team gathered around Mission Control Center here in Hawthorne. It's 5.30 in the evening, second shift is in. They're watching the flight. Fairing separation looked very good, exposing the 10 Iridium Next satellites to the vacuum of outer space. We're three and a half minutes plus into flight. Second stage performance continues to look excellent. T plus four minutes into flight. Falcon 9 second stage continues to perform nominally. Power on the engine looks good. Avionics looks good. Guidance looks we're on track, headed south away from California, eventually overflying the South Polar Cap on our way off of Eastern Africa, where we'll eventually deploy later in the webcast the 10 Iridium Next satellites.
T plus five minutes into flight. You can see the camera views looking back on the nozzle of the MVAC D Merlin vacuum engine. Red hot, which is just what we expect at this stage of flight. The engine is at full power, continuing to perform normally, as I like to say. And meanwhile, the second stage is on trajectory, headed for its initial low Earth parking orbit. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on, but for now, everything continues to look good. T plus six minutes into flight. Falcon 9, second stage carrying 10 Iridium Next satellites is currently west and south of the tip of Baja, California. I hope that everybody in Southern California had a great view of the launch this evening. We've had clear skies, the rocket launching about half an hour after sunset. Now currently we're in burn one. This takes us into the low earth parking orbit. That's a temporary orbit that we'll be in for about half an orbit around the earth before we relight the upper stage engine, and that will move us with its second burn into the final orbit. We'll be bringing you that second burn later on in the webcast. Stage one entry startup. Stage one entry burn. Entry shut down. Stage one, AFTS. Seven and a half minutes into flight, Falcon 9 second stage to, continues to perform well. We are continuing on the desired trajectory headed south from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, heading into a, an approximate polar orbit with the Iridium Next satellites. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to have two burns. We're in the first burn right now. This is the long burn, just well, over six minutes. Expected. We're beginning to throttle down power on the upper stage engine, preparing, preparing for shutdown about a minute stage from now. Meanwhile, we'll then go into a coast period of 42 minutes between the end of the burn that we're on now and then the relight that'll come over the eastern hemisphere. So during that coast phase, we're going to pause live commentary. We'll have a map so that you can see our path as we go over the southern polar regions en route to going east of Africa. We've heard the call out. Stage two flight termination system has safe in preparation for going into orbit. Once we go into orbit, we'll wait to hear a call from the guidance nav and control engineer called GNC on the quality of that orbit. And we've had good shutdown of the second stage engine. Now we're waiting to hear and take a look at the orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. Cook Delta and LOS. we've heard the call out, a good nominal orbit insertion. All right, stage one has so down. currently the first stage mission has completed. We separated the second stage, it took over, did a burn lasting just over six minutes. We've had shutdown on that first burn of the second stage engine. We're in a good orbit. We're gonna go into a coast phase now followed by a relight of the so upper stage engine. we're going to listen in right now for ignition of the upper stage engine. That'll run about four seconds. Then hopefully we'll hear the GNC engineer confirm a good orbit.
you've had ignition on time of the upper stage engine and a good shutdown. And there it is in the background, Avionics GNC reports a nominal orbit insertion. Spacecraft one. Welcome back. And we have separation of the first Iridium satellite. You can see it at the bottom left of the screen drifting away. An on-time separation. Now every 100 seconds we'll begin a sequence where satellite two, three, four, and continuing on will deploy. So one down, nine to go, and we'll be back at time for the next deployment. 58 minutes, 43 Lost seconds into flight. We're getting ready for the second deployment. This one may be visible from the very top of the screen. We have deployment. The second of the 10 Iridium satellites successfully deployed, drifting away from the Falcon 9 second stage. Now, just for your information, we have 10 Iridium Next satellites that we launched with. They are stacked in two layers of five. So the first five satellites that we are deploying are coming off of the top stack. We can see a couple. Others are going to be hidden by other satellites or out of view of the camera. Then when we go to satellites six through 10, those will be coming off of the lower stack. And so we'll get a couple of close-up views of the, cam of the satellites that are closest to the camera. Meanwhile, we're switching back and forth on orbit between the cameras looking at the nozzle on the upper stage, the map that we've got showing you where the Falcon 9 and the Iridium satellites are, and then the view is right now, the payload camera looking forward at the Iridium satellites. Spacecraft 2 separation confirmed. We have reacquired telemetry from the Falcon 9 over the Dubai ground station. And as you just heard, they said Spacecraft 2 separation confirmed. That's actually the third satellite. In some of the numbering schemes, we count from zero to nine. So in this case, satellite, the third one planned to deploy, did go at the correct time. We now have confirmation through telemetry. The next separation coming up right now. A nice view coming off of the side of the payload dispenser that's mounted on top of the Falcon 9 second stage. Spacecraft 5 separation confirmed. Now looking at the uh, notes, this one will not be in view of the camera, so we should just get telemetry confirmation from the avionics engineering team monitoring it from the control center. In the forward looking view of the payload camera, you can see the fourth set or the fourth satellite drifting away still, that white image just to the left, and we're about ready. Spacecraft three separation. Confirmed. And we have confirmed the fifth of the 10 Iridium Next satellites has deployed. However, this one was not in the field of view. We've got a view looking forward again. Satellite six preparing for deploy. This should be from the bottom of the screen, so you might see a little bit of motion as it moves away. Spacecraft six separation. And there it goes into the sunlight over the eastern hemisphere as we're passing over the Arabian Peninsula. Six satellites down. There are four still to go in this 15-minute deployment sequence. We're about 15 seconds out. We now switch back forward to the view to look at separation of satellite seven which I believe we will see coming from the top of the screen. Spacecraft nine, separation confirmed. So the seventh satellite deployed, also you may have heard it called Spacecraft nine. That's a numbering scheme that doesn't indicate that was the ninth of 10. Uh, we're through seven with three more to go. Camera views have now switched forward again for satellite number eight. This one's on the back side of the dispenser, so we won't see it coming free from the Falcon 9. Spacecraft 7, separation confirmed. There's the confirmation. The eighth of 10 satellites has successfully separated from Falcon 9. There are two more to go. The next one up will be the satellite that you see currently on the payload camera. So we'll get a good close-up of that one separating. The tenth satellite then is on the backside of the dispenser, and we'll only hear from telemetry that it's separated, but we won't see that one. Camera again has now switched according to the timeline. 
We're looking at satellite number nine preparing for deploy coming up in less than 10 seconds. Spacecraft 10, separation confirmed. And a great view from the payload camera watching the ninth of 10 satellites deploy. You can see in the background, as we saw in the last flight, several bright dots. Those are earlier Iridium satellites that were deployed minutes ago, forming that long chain of satellites coming off of the Falcon 9. So we're down to one to go. That'll be coming up in just under a minute and a half or so from now at about one hour, 12 minutes and 18 seconds. We'll come back and watch that last one separate and then wrap up the webcast. Well, it looks like a bare dispenser, but there's actually one more Iridium satellite left on the backside of the dispenser. We're waiting for deploy confirmation. Spacecraft 8, separation confirmed. Final spacecraft deployed. Outstanding. That's 40 in orbit in 2018. They heard the call out, 40 in orbit in 2017.